Yo, boom. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. What's happening? Want to say hi to everybody around the world. Everybody tuning in. Uh, we got a great show today. It's a it's a A7 Sunday matinee show. Uh, things got a little crazy here. Sorry, it took a minute to get on the air. Um, I'm down here in Florida, and about five minutes before showtime, the power went out. So the power's back on. Hopefully, we're going to be okay. Um, if not, we got enough people on the show today that they'll carry it without me, and hopefully, uh, with your help, with your help as well. So, so yeah, it's kind of crazy here in the zombie apocalypse. You know, the power went out, and uh, that's how it is. So, you know, we have to we have to forge on. You know, a, a, as we say. So, uh, yeah, you know, boom. Let me think. Um, let let's uh, let's get cracking here. Let's bring on Stephen Messina. We're not going to cha cha around. Yo, t this is a big shout out show. We're going to shout out a lot of people on the show today. A lot of people are going to get shouted out on the show. This is the big shout out show. So, if you want to shout anybody out, you know, put it in the comments. Y'all want to shout out the punks and the skins, you know, and and my boot boy friends in 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 Pennsylvania and the creeps and and everything. I want to. So it's a big shout out show, you know. I want to shout out uh, Richard Oldham uh, in upstate New York. Yo, thanks for having the watch party. I, I'm feeling you, bro. Thank you. Uh, I want to shout out the car bomb parade. It's going to be that kind of a show. It's a Sunday afternoon. Who gives a fuck? It's the zombie apocalypse, right? You know what I'm saying? Let me see what's going on with the comments. Um, Justo, what's up in Panama? Brother, what's happening down in Panama? Okay. The punks, the skins, the hardcore kids, the ones that live and die for this. What's happening, Murph? All right, all right. What else? What else? What else we got? Blend ahead, Brian. Zombie Apocalypse, LOL. The Biohazard album, album covers are coming. Yeah, bro. Pretty much so. Pretty, pretty, pretty much so. So, yeah, it's that kind of a show. We're going to have some fun with it. You know what I want to do before we bring on Pitcher of the Day? I want to mention some of the shows that are coming up. Uh, this Wednesday, we got the guys from Downset coming up. Uh, let me find that flyer. This Wednesday, boom, is uh, our friends from Downset, Ray and Roy are coming on. And uh, we're looking forward to that. Uh, we, we, got a, we got a bit of a history with these guys. So that should be cool. Let me get that banner out of the way. And then also on Friday, this Friday coming up, we have – got to be patient with me today because I got I built up the whole show and it all came crashing down. So it's going to take a minute to get stuff up. So this Friday, we have the man, the legend. Where the fuck is that flyer? The man, the legend, where the fuck is that flyer? Here you go. Boom. This Friday, Freddie Madball's on the show. So everybody tune in for that. Rich in, in, in New York hardcore uh, history and, and, and folklore. Anyway, let's bring on Stephen Messina. What's happening, bro? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. I think I gave myself a concussion yesterday, but I'm okay. I cracked well, myself in the garage, and I was, it was a mess the rest of the night. Well, you look good. Not, not a lot to work with here, but I'm doing <laughs> what I can. <laughs> All right. So let, let's, do, um, let's do picture of the day. Let me, uh, let me find this sucker. Everybody, everybody out there uh, on the planet Earth, Let's see. What is this right here? Let's hear it. Huh. Okay. So, all right. Well, looking at this, I would say I recognize Lars from Rancid, right? That's, yep. Those are the two Rancid guys, right? Yeah, that's Tim and Lars. And, I do not recognize, don't tell me. Let's see if I somebody out there if, if, if somebody out there knows it. But who's that playing bass on the right? Anybody? I know Davey Hooligan knows. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. Gavin from Burn. Yeah, right. That that that's funny. That's funny. Oh, here you go. Lenny from Crazy Eddie. Rancid and the guy from the Dropkick Murphys. Actually, there's two guys. Oh, oh there's a guy. On, there's a guy on the left. I see. Yeah, Al Bar's got his back turned. Ah. But, uh, oh, Al Bar has his. Okay, I gotcha. So this is. So okay, break it down. What what, what is th what is this, buddy? This was uh, 2017. Uh, they played at a place called the Ford Ford Amphitheater in uh, Coney Island, and it was. Uh, the Murphys and Rancid did a tour together where they each did a headline set and then came out for like a five, six song encore with every member of both bands. And, uh, and they did like ACDC and Thin Lizzy. And it was really, it was really cool. And uh, in fact, the opening bands, uh, the Bouncing Souls were on that show and Jake Burns from uh, Stiff Little Fingers did uh, an acoustic set before they went on. Oh, wow. I would like to have seen that. Oh, it was great. It was a great. And they, I think they've since toured again together, but I missed it. Uh, I think I they, 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 they did it in Europe last year. I don't think I've ever seen the Dropkick Murphys or Rancid. Really? I don't think I have ever. I don't think I've ever seen either of those bands live. Rancid headlined the Black and Blue one year. and were Act just Actually, you know what? You know what? That that's that's not entirely true. I've been around when they've played. That, right, they played the Black and Blue that year. Yeah. Um, let's say I've seen Rancid peripherally. I I I haven't like stood there and watched the whole set. Dropkick Murphys. I don't think I've ever seen them play live. I I, I yeah. I'm not I'm not hip. They they're always the first time I saw the Murphys. They're opening up for Agnostic Front. It was, I think it was like AF, the Murphys, and the U.S. Bombs way back oh, wow. when Al first joined the band. And right. now... The, the Dropkick Murphys had, had another singer, right? Yeah, Mike M McLaggen, I believe you say his last name. He's the singer in the Street Dogs now. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and uh, Johnny Rua and the Street Dogs. Oh, right. yeah. Those guys are great, too. They're that's, a great band, too. That's it. Let's see. I'm a hard working Boston band. Jimmy too. Ferrari says, I saw Dropkick once. The only reason I was there is because sick of it all was direct support. Never saw Rancid. Well, there you go. You know, Metal Gabe says they were going to do another U.S. tour together, but it got canceled. Yeah, a lot of shit yeah. got canceled, Metal Gabe. It's a fucked up, it's a fucked up world. Here it's you go. Looks like you're getting a little shout out on that Soundgarden chirp, bro. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Old school. Right. Cool. The, I got to tell you, uh, the Murphys only played CBGBs one time, and that was uh, that was years ago, and that was when Stigma came out and uh, walked out in his kilt and played the bagpipes. <laughs> and uh, in fact, that was the first day I met Johnny Bagpipes. Was at wow. backstage at CBGB. Shout out to Johnny Bagpipes, and uh, who's an essential worker right now, killing it in the middle of all this. Ugh, pardon my uh, my pun, but. Uh, but just, just I think they're a phenomenal band, and now they're, now they bring Springsteen out. He comes out and plays with them. I mean, they're, the Murphys are bigger and bigger and bigger. That song was in The Departed. Wow, I, mean, I gotta, I, I, I might have to ramp up my game. Here's a, a comment from Brian Mako: Seen the Dropkick Murphys at Wetlands years ago on St. Patty's Day. I mean, wow, shit in New York. Wow, where the fuck wow, was that? Where the fuck was Murphy's Law on, on St. Patrick's Day? Probably on the same bill, right? You, you know, it's funny. I got to say, uh, I went to Boston a couple of years back because they usually do a week for St. Patty's Day. Right. And I went because Agnostic Front was opening. And I said, I need to see this in Boston. And someone threw a bottle and hit Stigma in the head during their set. He didn't bat an eye. I mean, you know, he's Stigma. It's, you know, he's indestructible. But needless to say, the Murphys were not happy that that's how they were treating, uh, you know, the godfather of hardcore. But uh, he literally was leaning, you know, being Vinny, and you just saw this thing clock him right in the head. And I was right there in the photo pit. It was... Uh, Listen, baby, it's a, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, right? That's right. All right. Hey, listen, um, also want to say... 
Yo, if the power goes out down here where I am, everybody's got to carry on the show with Dalmy till I get back on. That, that's we got that's you covered. It's, it's real. It's real DIY. So hey, listen, I'll talk to you in a bit, man. Thank you. You got. Yo, Stephen Messina, picture of the day. What's up? Kind of crazy right now in the zombie apocalypse. Now that it's getting crazy, it's time to bring on. Wow. Oh, crazy. <laughs> What's up, brother? Oh, what's up, guys? What shirt is that you're rocking today? I'm feeling that. Sick of it all, mini tour. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Dope. I caught two of those shows. I think I caught Bowery Electric and King. I can't remember which one I went to, but I caught through them. Wow. Those- and that was why they were going to do the other tour because that did so well. Yeah, right. But uh, let's do the the day right away. Come on. Yo, yo ju- jump, in, jump in the pool, son. I got three quick toys of the day today, guys. One of them's collectible. But this toy is from my childhood. It's – everybody had this when they were kids. It's the – Royal Crown Cola, hot rod, and I like that one. It's kind of like an obscure piece, you know, weird. And then I got two more. These were the old black and white Planet of the Apes magazines by Marvel. These were pretty cool. There was also a black and white Conan, the Barbarian that used to be called the Savage Sword of Conan that was quite cool. Bro, I'm I'm uh, feeling those, bro. I just like to walk down memory lane with this stuff, you know? I mean, that's dope. always a hobby, hobby, but then I've turned it into a business by reselling all my collection. It's kind of like apples and oranges more now, you know? I appreciate it all, but I also appreciate someone else getting it. And, uh... Since we got Dead Blow Hammer on today, <laughs> I popped it. I got this old joint. This was one of Rob's first ventures. Wow. Was against the grain. And Whoa. I think this was produced by Billy Milano. And I think Steve Gallo was in the band. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Rob. Wow. I, yeah. We we'll, we'll, ask, we'll ask Kabula when he comes on. Last one, Drew. We'll get you guys going. Keep you rolling. Because it's Dead Blow Hammer. I thought this was a cool piece. What is that? It's the old school Avon cologne. (laughs) (laughs) Deep Woods Aftershave. I had an aunt that worked for Avon, so I always got this kind of stuff at Christmas. Hey, hey, I've got a question for you here from Blenda Head Brian. I noticed Rap Bones had Brutus the Barber Beefcake Figure Generation Records. Does he collect wrestling toys? I, I do. I collect all genres from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. All genres, all kinds of stuff. Uh, right on. Magazines, comics, Star Wars, He Man, you name it, I can get it for you. Cool. Hey, um, we, got a, we got a special guest that we want to bring on the show. Um, we love this guy. Uh, he sponsors the show. Uh, this is Lee from New York Hardcore Comics up in Dobbs Ferry. What's happening, Lee? What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks. Thanks for coming on. H- how you doing? Well, good. We're doing all right. Trying to keep. Uh, hasn't been easy without being able to open the shop, but we're doing good. Tell us a little bit about the shop and where you're at, and and the, and, and what's happening up there. So it's uh it's me and my partner Debo. He's behind the scenes today, but um. The shop up in Dobbs Ferry, and we were just two punk rock kids, hardcore kids who, uh, you know, collected comics, toys, and vinyl. And uh, we put it all together and opened up this store maybe six years ago now. Right on, right on. And uh, it, it's, I mean, these, these right now, this is a tough thing, right? I mean, you guys are a mom and pop store, you're a brick and mortar store. Yeah. I mean, you know, how, how you guys getting by and, 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 and really the question is, are you going to be able to hold on here, bro? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get through. We've been doing the, uh, like Facebook live sales and eBay, a lot on eBay. So a lot of people have been supporting too, for the, doing curbside pickup and all that stuff. So we're getting through it. We're doing all right. 
Cool, cool. Rap bones, rap bones. Any, 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 uh, any questions or anything for Lee? Just what up? I, uh, I, 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 met you guys, I, I met you guys at uh, Comic Con. You, you guys. Oh, you, yeah, you come by the booth. Yeah, yeah. I really like what you guys are doing. Yeah, I'd love to get you up here sometime. Yeah, absolutely, man. And Lee, man, we listen. You're a sponsor of the show, and we really appreciate it. And the, the words getting out there. Uh, around the world, and I, and I want to say it, yo, New York Hardcore Comics is a sponsor of this show, and they are awesome. And thank you so much, man, for for supporting this show and and for making this happen. Oh, man. Thank you. Yo, also, I want I want to say that, um, you know, it's not just this show. You've uh, sponsored some of the A Seven shows, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That was a lot of fun, man. Those were great times. Yeah. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> Well, it was your band. We got to do it for uh, for Antidote, so that was awesome. Yeah, that was great. That's right. Night. That's right. That and and you were lined up to do it again for the High and the Mighty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll and, get it. Uh, yeah, listen, we'll, we'll get we'll get there, man. I know we were talking about you. Were, you guys were going to sponsor the Murphy's Law too when we get when we get when we finally get Murphy's Law going, right? Yeah, bring it on, man. We're in. We're always in. Yeah, man. That's awesome, and and we and we really appreciate that. And uh, let me see. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, whoa! Lee with the Rock and Rex T-shirt, huh? There it is. What's up? What's up? Right. Whoa! You, yeah. you guys know anyone from Westchester who was a punk punk in the '90s, man? This is where we all got started. Is it? Was it Rock and Rex on Central Avenue? Yeah, Yonkers. Yeah, uh, Tony, our, our friend Tony had it. Yeah, and Tony, Tony still, Tony comes down to the A seven shows, right? Oh yeah, Tony's a, he's the man. He's yeah, a good man. man. All right, well, yo, thank you so much. If you want to hang out, we'll bring you back in later. You know, if you got shit to do, but once again, thank you for being a sponsor, and, and you're gonna come, you're gonna come, you know, on on the show every now and then, and uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. And yo, Rap Owens, hang in there. We'll we'll, uh, yeah. we'll talk to you in a bit. So New York Hardcore Comics, maybe we'll get a collabo going one of these days. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you. All right, fellas, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, that was cool, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, boom. Uh, let's keep it moving here in the zombie apocalypse. Let me see. Let's do. Uh, let's get Sid the Kid on here. We're gonna, you know, I promised him we're gonna talk about some music today, right, Sid? Oh, yes, Drew. And I've been waiting, waiting for this. You've been waiting for this. Okay, so let me. So let me find this album cover. Right, and yep. let's talk about this album. You want you want to give it any kind of a a, a an introduction, or are we just gonna we just drop it on them? We'll just drop it because really, if all right, all right, we'll drop it. So here we go. Man, come on. Here we Never. go. This is, this is album of the day with DJ Sid the Kid. Uh, anybody out there? Let's see some comments about this. Here we go. Bam. Boom. Self-explanatory, everybody. Uh, really quickly, though, for those who don't know, this album actually came out between the uh, three hits from Hell and Evil Live. Uh, was recorded between June 81 to January 82 and was released of uh, March of 82. Now, just for a few people who do know this, believe it or not, the drummer in this band has something to do with Antidote as well. Right, Drew? Yeah, you could say that. Um, Googie, who plays drums um, on this record, who who plays, I think the, you know, great drums on this record. And he also he's also on Three Hits from Hell. Arthur Googie uh, ended up leaving the Misfits and starting Antidote with Nunzio, and plays on Thou Shot Not Kill. And uh, when I joined the band in 1984, Googie was the drummer. So yeah, there's a there's an Antidote Misfits tie in. Um, tie in right there, you know, and, and if you, you know, if you, if you, some of that antidote stuff, uh, like something must be done. I mean, you, you hear that sort of that real misfits Googie kind of beat, you know? Yeah. And it's the awesome. The thing about Googie, I noticed yeah, specifically on this record and antidotes, he's one of those few drummers that literally beats the crap out of his kit. And the yeah. only drummer I can compare that to is Dave when he played in Mental Abuse at Agnostic Front. Uh, Googie, Googie was, Googie was a, was a great drummer. What's crazy is that he doesn't even play drums anymore. Uh, he was singing in a band for a while. 
yeah. called, I think, New York Noise, uh, with along with um, Brian Goss, who was on the Warzone show yesterday. Yeah. He ended up, like a lot of drummers, uh, fronting, fronting a band, you know? But, uh, but listen, this, this record is... This record is even is, you know, for me, you know, th this really was, you know, I remember when this came out and, you know, we used to play the hell out of it. And, you know, in 19, you know, 82, uh, really like, you know, the Misfits were kind of like our kiss. Um, you know, I've been friends with these guys a long time. When I was in the high and the mighty, we played with them, you know, back in the day. And, uh, you know, this record is really, this, this is it. I, I'm not sure. I, I think this is, if you had to pick anything out of the Misfits catalog, if I had to pick anything, it, it would be this. It would be this record. I mean, Earth AD is cool. That's like the hardcore record, but this is really, yeah. this is really that genre of, of of I guess it like return. It's like horror punk. This this really this 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 is the 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 horror punk, you know. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, I picked this record just to be even the production is so like tight. Yet it still has that raw feeling to it from top to bottom. Every song, I mean, even with "Mommy Can I Go Out and Kill Tonight," which was a live track, with the exception of that, every track is just like it's straight up there. Yeah. It's you know? it's great. Well, that's a good that's a good one, Sid man. And uh, you know, people lot, lots of good comments. Oh, here you go. The first Misfits record I owned, Michael Terry. Yeah, you know. How about yeah. this? What's this? Anybody seen the documentary about Robo? No, I, I didn't know there was a documentary about Robo. And, uh, you know, being that I watch pretty much every documentary ever made, being I'm a documentary filmmaker, chances are I'll have to hunt that down. A Robo documentary. That sounds cool, you know? Oh, here you go, Michael Lombardi uh, shouting out uh, Lodi Pizza. <laughs> well, we can't go now until it's open. I'll check it out when we're all we go back outside. All right, buddy. Well, hey, thanks. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up to you. That was a good one, bro. All right. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, everybody, for checking oh, wait, in. Yo, yo, you're getting, a, you're getting a little love on that old firm casual shirt. What's up? Let's see yeah. it. Let's um, see it. Uh, they played last year at uh, St. Vitus. Happen to check it out. You know, Lars is my boy. You know, have to support local, support local bands, especially when this thing is over, people. This is what keeps us all going. Even What's going on in the back there? What is that on the door? What is that on the doorknob? What is oh, that? Oh. This thing right here. Yeah, what are you hiding? This project that I'm still working on after seven. Oh, eight, that's, okay, that's so your band. Cool, but now the apocalypse kind that's, of screwed that's up. Your, that's your band, but you had to grab the agnostic front boots for your band. Hey, little little fact, Drew. You know, um, AF kind of borrowed those boots from Sermonet, so it's not exactly an AF thing. Just saying. All Just, right, bro. Okay, all, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys. Thank you, buddy. There you have it. DJ Sid the Kid, record of the day. Good one. Love that fucking Misfits record. Love it. Hey, uh, shouting out our sponsors, Fryad Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. Also, also, just something on Fryad Amplification. It's a small company that makes guitar amps, attenuators, and direct recording products in northern Hollywood, California. Hollywood, their gear is used by the Deftones, Helmet, Candiria, Stone Temple Pirates, 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 Pilots, Power Flow with Billy Grazia Day, Antidote, Volbeat, Downset, and many other heavy bands. Heavy. The brand new Deliverance Two Heads are available now at Fryette.com. Let me put up the Fryette banner. A lot of you guitar players out there really need to ramp up your game check out the fryette stuff it's dope they're sponsors of the show so we love them moving along moving right along i want to talk about my patreon page and i want to thank all my patrons that uh that have gotten on the page and have supported the show and supported me as an artist Today, I put on the page, I unlocked a never-before-seen minor threat photo that was a, a, that's an outtake from XXX All Ages XXX, the Boston Hardcore film that I did. So if you're interested in seeing that and you're interested in the uh, Antidote 1984 student film that my brother did, Deadly Rain, uh, get, get on the Patreon page. Here is the information for that. 
It's uh, www.patreon.com slash Drew Stone. There's different tiers. Yo, uh, there's a $2 tier. Listen, yo, don't be a cheap fuck. It's two fucking dollars. Seriously. You watch this fucking show and it's free. Get on the Patreon page and pledge $2 for Christ's sake. This isn't rocket science. There's a lot of cool shit that's going up on there and you'll be supporting me and you'll be supporting this show. Free. Everyone likes free, but there's really no such thing as free. Anywho, I want to shout out my patrons and Mays uh, uh, over there, over there in Europe, in uh, in Antwerp. I love you, Anne. Thank you for the support. Andrew Daly, Carnio Domain, Brad, Eric Delasio, Greg Whitbread, John Burry, Jordan Paz. Thank you, Jordan. Jorge Rodriguez, representing Colombia, now in New York, New York Hardcore Soldier. Matthew Gordon. Michael Gibbons from Leeway is a patron. Uh, one of my tiers, by the way, uh, on the Patreon, pa Patreon page is uh, the Drew Stone Cinematic and Music Walking Tour in New York. So check that out. Uh, Mikey Arsenault, Will Shepler, drummer for The Take, formerly of Madball and Agnostic Front. Uh, William Hernandez, yo, Steen Thompson in Denmark. Thank you, bro. Thanks for being a supporter of the show. And we're going to have you on the show soon, bro. We're going to do an international show. We're going to get a whole bunch of people involved. Uh, Mike Egan came on last night. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate the support. And Josh Forster as well. Uh, Mr. Nobody and Chris Freeman. Yo, those are my patrons. Please come on board and, and please support. Uh, that said, let's let's move it on. This is the big shout out show. Yo, if you want to shout out anybody, uh, put it in put it in the comments page. Um, and, and we'll see uh, we'll see what's happening. We'll see what's happening. Okay, so uh, moving right along here, I, I want to bring my first guest on, and uh, he's a he's a he's a uh, he's a a Brooklyn a Brooklyn native, um, super solid New York hardcore soldier, always super supportive. Um, you know, he's been in a couple bands. Right now, he's singing in Ache. Let's bring on our friend, Mr. Ryan Bland. What's up, buddy? What's up, Drew? How are you, man? What's going on, man? I'm doing all right, you know, trying to hold it down here the best I can, you know? Okay. You in Brooklyn? Yeah, I'm in Bedside, man, and uh, it's crazy out here, bro. I hear sirens, like, like going by, like, hourly. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I don't, you know? I don't, I don't miss, I don't miss that about, uh, about being in New York right now. You know, I'm down here in Florida, and... Yo, uh, there's no sirens. It's really, really quiet, and it must be fucking nerve wracking. Because I remember I was there. I was around for 9/11. Man, mm -hmm. it's nerve wracking when you hear like sirens all day, every day, right? Yeah, I, I, I found out this neighborhood is the worst in, in all of New York. So, uh, so I think that's why I'm hearing so many sirens. You know. Cool. Hey, let's um, let, let's talk a little bit about. Let's talk a little bit about your history, uh, your New York hardcore history, and and and, and what's going on. Um, I know that. Uh, t tell me how you got into it. Give me a little background, man. Born and raised in New York. No, no, no. Actually, I moved to New York around 1987, and um, and I got into hardcore in 1988. Um, Israel from Bad Brains, uh, who sang for Fireburn, is the guy who got me into hardcore. Um, is that right? He get. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I met him. <laughs> I met him. It was weird because I was into punk. I was into like Sex Pistols and the Ramones and stuff like that. But I didn't know hardcore, you know. So I went out camp, uh, camping for concert tickets for Prince. And <laughs> and there was a bunch of uh, punks in line camping for Prince, believe it or not. And uh, they all had crow mags and bad brains like spray painted on their jackets and stuff. And Israel was one of those people. Wow, and um, and I was so impressed by this dude, and so I ended up hanging out with him, and he gave me the Bad Brains Yolo War cassette, and um, and then it changed my life. Now I've been in hardcore for thirty two years now. <laughs> right, that that and Israel, you know, Israel ended up in the Bad Brains, and yo, know, I think I think that record that they did, you know, is awesome. The Rise record, me too, me is, too, is really great. And to tell you the truth, man, if I was in charge of that ship. 
yo, he should be singing for that band right now, and they should be out That's there. That's what I say. Yeah, and they should be out there playing, man. I mean, yo, he was I a agree, man. He's a great singer, man. And listen, yeah. we all love HR. We all love yes, HR. Of course. But, but we know the HR is not really. He's not really. Uh, let's just say he's not up to the task these days of fronting the bad brains, you know. And I think that Israel has a lot. You know, he has the the credentials, and, and he's the man. And you know, a lot of us remember, um, you know, when Fireburn came to town with Todd Youth. You know, rest in peace. Yo, uh, he, it was awesome, man. They 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 were really uh, when Fireburn played the park. You know, for that benefit, that was awesome. Yo, Drew, Israel was so fucking punk rock, man. He used to hang out with these kids, and we would they would drive around Long Island. You know, in suburbia, in the movie, they had that car. They had TR spray painting on the car. They rejected. You remember that? Yeah. Um, he had a car similar to that with, like, a big anarchy symbol on it. <laughs> and they would drive around Long Island, and he's, he's, like, a hardcore vegan vegetarian, and he was that way back in the 80s and shit. So Did you he fucking, yeah. Did you used to work at Trash and Vaudeville? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I worked there from 1991 to 1998. And uh, I, it, it was rock and roll high school for me, man. That's awesome. I met everyone there, you know. I mean, I became friends with Didi Ramon and, and Joy Ramon. I would sell Joy Ramon his leather jackets like uh, pretty much every other winter. And... Uh, one time he was looking for a bass player for his brother's band, Stop. And uh, and he asked the Bushman bass player to be his bass player uh, in his brother's band. So uh, that was rock and roll high school for me, man. Like, Trash and Rollville was crazy. I mean, I mean, I met wow. all my heroes. Billy Idol, everybody, man. So so before you were in Ake, uh, your first band was Home 33? No, my first band was Bushman, and it was. Oh, like okay, I, I got it a little mixed up. Let me see. I think I have a flyer here. Let, let, let yeah, me yeah, see. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I could dig it up. Um, let me see if I could dig it. Up. Let me try this. If it's not this, it's the other one. I can't see the prints real small. Yeah, Bushman. Here you go. This is it. Yeah, 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 man. Tell that was a that was a crazy show, man. Tell us a little bit about about. Is it is it Bushman? Yes, yeah, Bushman. We were like punk ska, and uh, and our home was Stevie's. Man, I went to to Stevie's and gave Louise a demo, and then she gave us like a weeknight to play, and then we did really well. And then from there, we would play the weekends, and uh, it was a crazy band, man. Uh, we we played with everyone, man. Uh, we we were playing with the Bouncing Souls in the early days, uh, Mephistopheles. Slackers, No Redeeming, all those bands. That flyer is from uh, this TC Scan. I don't know if you remember him, but uh, who did it? Who did it? That. This guy named TC. Oh yeah, of course. You remember him? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was his roommate for a little while too, and uh, he put together this show. And this was like early casualties. This was like way before Jorge. Um, I think Mark from um, Generation was in the band during this time. Wow. And uh, Rejuvenate, of course, Tommy Rat. Uh, I still have to say, Tommy Rat to this day, I think does, first of all, like Israel and HR are the only ones who be, should be should sing and pay to come. That's it. But I think Tommy Rat is <laughs> the best version of pay to come. Have you heard him sing pay to come? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. Hey, here's, yeah, Max, here, here's, a, yeah. here's a comment that Bushman used to play with Funk Face back in the day, huh? Yeah, well, actually, the singer from Funk Face, Luke Mon, gave us our name. Wow. Um, our first show was with Funk Face. Um, and, and he gave us that name, Bushman. We were trying to come up with band names, and he gave us that name. Good and one. And then from there is when I got into uh, Home 33. Right. And, here, and here's, here's Home 33 right here. Uh, this is a, this is, let me see, this, this, is a Coney, this is Coney Island High, huh? Yeah, um, at Trash and Vaudeville, I met Jesse. You know Jesse, of course. Uh, you know, of course. Oh, Niagara grade seven, degeneration, everything. You know, but uh, I met Jesse at Trash, and uh, and of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a geek about all the bands from the old days. So I'm geeking on him about Heart Attack, and so uh, we're talking about the New York Thrash Comp. And at the time, Coney Island, Coney Island High had just opened, so uh, uh, I was telling him I had a band and we were trying to do shows. He's like, "Why don't you do some hardcore shows at Coney Island?" 
And he told me who to go there and speak to. And I started doing my own matinees there for, for about two years. And uh, that show I put together and uh, and all those bands went on to do crazy things. At the time, no one knew of them. No one knew E-Town Concrete. No one knew Glassjaw. Um, Everybody Gets Hurt was on that bill. No Redeeming was on that bill. And uh, at the time, Yuppie Side was the biggest band. Uh, and uh, Jesse did me a favor and headlined that show and we sold it out. Sold out Coney Island High. Wow. I love that flyer, man. Yeah, you know, for those, for those that don't know, Jesse Mallon, who he's talking about, is a part owner in Niagara, aka the A7, and uh, really uh, Jesse Mallon is is our patron saint at the A7. Those shows wouldn't be happening uh, if if it wasn't for Jesse Mallon, you know. I mean, he was always like doing stuff like that. You saw, you see what he was doing at Coney Island High. Yeah, for sure. Had, like me, a chance to do like hardcore shows. He was always, you know, like supporting the hardcore scene. Always. For sure. I, he and he's. He's he's always been supportive of my stuff, and, and he's right there. He's right there with me. Let let me put up. Um, here's a shot. Let's let's talk about Ake a little bit. What's going on with Ake? What's happening these days? What's in the hopper? Yeah, man. A Ake is my favorite band that I've been in. Man, I'm having so much fun with these dudes. These dudes are like my best friends. You know, like they're like my brothers. I mean, we literally talk every day, and um, we we wrote a new album and we were going to go into the studio and record it and then the zombie apocalypse happened <laughs> so uh i don't know when we're going to get into the studio i don't know when our next shows are going to be yeah everything is just kind of like you know i, I have no fucking idea <laughs> yeah um, but yeah, yeah we have a whole new ready, record ready to go yeah and we were ready we were about to play together right we were about to do a yeah, show man, together yeah man we're gonna play a7 the mcrod show Oh. Fucking the blame. Wait, let me and find that. Let me find trailer. that flyer, oh man. Oh my god, man. Let me find that flyer here while we're at it. Yeah, man. man. You know what's up with that, man? Here it is, right here. I got, I got it, B. I got it. Hold on. <laughs> you know, I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting good at, I'm getting good at this game. This is the show that we were supposed the to. The struggle play. is real. The struggle is real, yo. Here it is. This was the show that we were going to play, right? McRad, oh, and man. Philly, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, Antidote with Tom Capone playing, uh, you guys, The Blame, Major Taylor, who I was super excited, you know, that they were playing the A7, yeah. and, and RBNX, man. This was going to be, this was, this was, this was going to be um, the next A7 show before the whole shithouse caved in, right? Man, I was so excited for that show i mean i was talking about it every day i mean i was so looking forward to this man and yeah. and, and my band was like ryan i don't know if it's gonna happen man you know and i was like we can't be the first to drop no 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 <laughs> and then, of course, you came and you and, and you and you you know you canceled it you know so it is what it is what it is man it I is mean, what I'm it is fucking bro. mad disappointed bro, you know yeah it sucks <laughs> but hey man listen i, I, I gotta we're gonna keep it moving you yeah know? yeah yeah, good, good, good to hear from you, man. Uh, stick around; yeah, we'll bring, we'll bring you back on towards the end. You, you're you're a solid New York hardcore soldier, man. We appreciate it. Thank you, brother. I'll Thank talk you. to you in a bit. All right, man. All right, yo, boom! There he is, Ryan Ryan Bland from Ake. Uh, great guy, solid New York hardcore soldier. Hey, listen, uh, want to do something special in the show? Uh, from every 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 now and then, we're gonna bring on a special guest. That special guest would be my father, Arnie Stone, a.k.a. Yoda. And so here he is with a really special message for everyone out there. How you doing, Pop? One more time, Dad. I think one more time. You're not hearing me? I hear you now. I hear okay. you now. Okay. What do you got, Pop? Here's what I have. Look, I am the uh, senior citizen on the program. <laughs> And I have an unusual situation that I'm kind of isolated because my immune system is at ground zero with a lot of the illnesses I have. So here's what I do. Maybe it may apply. What I do is structure my day. I get up. And thank God Drew is here to help me. And I do a little writing. I paint a little bit. I'm executive producer on a documentary film that I'm doing with Drew. I work a little bit on that. And I just do some kind of free writing, just how I feel. So 
here's what I wrote this morning, and I'll share it with you. It uh, represents my own personal feelings, so here we go. It appears to me that as I sit in isolation, we all need to take a deep breath, take a step back, and be grateful for what we have. Um, what we have is our family, our friends, our well-being. And during these times, we need to reflect and look past our own pain and problems with love, compassion, and support for those in need. This can be a good time to reassess our lives and values in a meaningful way. By starting a day with a positive attitude and engaging in activities and pursue things that interest us, reflecting on what's important and what's not, who our family and friends are, who matters, and who won't anymore, and who never did. Choice is yours. One way, to get, one way is just to fall into negativity. The other way is to stay positive, looking for the light at the end of the tunnel, being mindful and open for change and opportunities it may present. Miracles can happen simply by having a change in your perspective. Think about it. Don't stress and worry about things you cannot change or control, seize the opportunity now to pursue and achieve what's really your passion and in your heart. The truth never lies. Be safe, be well, be true to yourself. Take a chance, accept change. That's about it for today. There you go. There you go, Pop. Thank you. And uh, everybody out there, that's that's uh, that's the coach himself. That's <laughs> Arnie, Arnie Stone. And uh, Pop, we're going to bring you on, on, on the show, you know, every now and then. And uh, we, we might even do uh, we might even do Ask Yoda. We'll do like a we'll do like a, a, a question thing like like Ask Yoda. And I don't know if you could see all the nice comments that you got, Pop, from everybody. You know, every, here's a good one. Stay gold, Mr. Stone. I like that. And, and here's another good one. PMA by Mr. Stone. That's awesome. All right, Pop. I love you. And I'll see you for dinner after the show. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you go. Uh, my dad, Arnie Stone. And uh, we're going to bring him on every now and then. Uh, I got to dig up. I got to dig up a, a, a couple pictures of him back in the day. And uh so yeah, listen. You know this is you know this is the New York Hardcore Chronicles live, and yo, know, the truth about it is, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. If I want to bring my dad on, that's what's gonna happen. If I want to take my clothes off, that's what's gonna happen. So anyway, um, let's keep it moving here. Uh, like I said, this is the shout out show. So just want to make sure I'm not forgetting. You know, we got a we got, we got a lot of people to shout out. You know, um, so anybody that you personally want to shout out. Put it in the comment box, you know, and uh, got any pictures of him with Mel Brooks? Well, listen, next time my dad comes on, we'll have, him, we'll have him tell the Mel Brooks story. By the way, if you didn't know this, my dad won an Oscar for best short um, film in 1963 with Mel Brooks for a film called The Critic. So so there you go. Oh, here you go. Shouting out, shouting out uh, Pugsy in New Jersey. Uh, we all die. What's happening, brother? Shouting out Lenny from Crazy Eddie. Yo, keep it real out there uh, in Queens. Did you move? I think you're still in Queens, right? Um, boom! Shouting out Steve Malibu. Yo, this is the shout out show. You know, it, it, yo, sh yo, shouting out, yo, shouting out Liam. Got to shout out Liam. Where's Liam? Where did, I just saw him. Fucking Liam. Shouting out Liam in Ireland. Everyone go bra, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, man. Oh, boom. Here you go. Shouting out Ernie Cortez Powerhouse. There you go. Boom. Anyway. Oh, here's another request to get a uh, shot. Yo. Oh, shouting out Forest Hills. 
Anyway, let's keep it moving. Let, let's. Let, I know we're getting a little kooky here, but it's a, it's a Sunday, so who gives a fuck? Um, our next guests, uh, uh, super excited to have these guys on the show. Th th this is a real A7 band. They're one of the first bands that played. And, uh, you know, one of them is, is really a, a New York hardcore legend. So let's get him on here and we'll bullshit a little bit. I'm talking about Yasko and Mr. Rob Kabula. What's happening, guys? What's, What's up, Drew? Drew? Hey. Drew, you look just like your dad. What's that? You look just like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. You, you, you know what? You know what's funny, Kabula, is is that I, I can't find it now. But there's that 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 great picture of your dad with all the New York hardcore kids in front of CBGBs back in the day, right? Oh yeah, that that classic picture. That's fucking my awful. dad who told me your music is horrible. <laughs> that pitch is great. He's got a beer in his hand and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's like a big, that <laughs> tour boy. That that picture that 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 picture is great, and, and you know, let me, let me just say, um, I love the band. You know, I love your guys' hustle, man. You guys work real hard. I know I can always count on you. You know, and you know, Deb Lohammer. You know, give me the update, Yasko. What's happening with the band these days? We got a lot going on, man. Uh, first of all, thank you for having us. We really appreciate it, man. Hey. Um, so we got we got a four song uh, release coming out. Um, it's going to come out on Patient Zero Records. Uh, that should be out sometime June, July. We were just featured on two compilations, a uh, really good one called Defending the Commonwealth. Uh, they made a short run of cassettes on it, sold like almost sold out immediately. Um, we were just featured on Oi to the World, which is a, <laughs> which is a great compilation. I love it. Oi to it the up. World. I love the, it. Tyler, Tyler from Italian Blood, he, he put it out. Um, it's on Spotify. If you guys go check that out. A shit ton of great bands on that, really, and from all over the area. So definitely check that out. Um, we're gonna be releasing a new song come mid May from the new release, um, and then we have um, we're working on some product for a split seven with Rencia out of Panama. If you haven't checked them out, check them out at Rencia P H P H C, and then we're uh, we're. In the studio, in the lab, working on a full-length release for late 20, early 21. A wow. lot going on. Listen, man, like I said, I respect your hustle, man. You know, it's like there's a lot of people out there talking about what they're going to do and blah, blah, blah. You know, you guys are, you guys are out there doing it. And uh, you're, you're doing not talking, and, and, and I can dig that, you know. Hey, uh, Thank you. I want to shout out Keith Burkhart, uh, singer for Cause for Alarm. Uh, who's out there saying that that uh, he's talking about the picture with Kabula's dad? That picture was after a show after we played Great Gildersleeves, apparently. What's yo, up, Keith? Yo, Keith, get in touch <laughs> with me, man. Get in touch with me, Keith. Yo, you got to come. Oh, on he's down in Florida with you. I know. I, where I where are him. you? Where are you in Florida? I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I'm in Delray Beach. I'm in Delray Beach. Um, you know, with my dad. And what did you, uh, you do? You got out of New York. Uh, you, you know, the, the COVID scared you out of here. No, nah, bro. I, ca I came down here a couple hours after the last day seven show, like whatever way it was the 45 adapters, like the show ended. I went home. I got my stuff. I went to the airport, Newark airport, left my, I parked my car at the airport. I came down here to, you know, to spend a couple days with my dad. And then the shit hit the fan and it just got uglier and uglier. And I didn't want to leave my dad here. And my fucking car sat in Newark airport for a month until a oh, friend shit. of mine went, went and got it. But but whatever you know, and uh, I've been down here ever, ever since since a couple hours after the last day seven show, and I'm happy here. I need to be you know I'm here with my dad. You know it's all good. I'm in a calm, safe place. Yeah, so, you don't want to come back here. Nah, man. A lot of germs on the subway. Hey, Kabula, let, let's, <laughs> Kabula, let's uh, let's talk about a couple of things. Um, let's talk about a couple of things. Um, let me let me put up a picture. Uh, let, let me let me just say this uh, to. Uh, let me just say this to the people out there who may not know. Rob Kabula is a New York hardcore legend. He played in Cause for Alarm and played on the early Cause for Alarm 7-inch. And then from there, he joined Agnostic Front. And he plays on the classic, iconic Victim, Victim in Pain record. So let, let, me, let me get a picture up here. And uh, Kabula, maybe you can give me a little recollection on this here. Uh, looking back, you know, a couple years later. Wait, let, let me find this thing. 
couple of years later. What are you talking about? Like 40 years later? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me show you some of my toys. Here you go, man. <laughs> you know, uh, looking back, you know, yeah. Rock, you know, uh, give us a little take on this, man. Oh, yeah. That was from uh, when the 80s, like 81. Mm hmm. When it was like 20 people hanging out at A7. <laughs> <laughs> and, yo, I always, I always feel like, like in a lot of ways that this record, that a lot of this seven inch to me, really, really, um, when I think about that time, uh, I, this seven inch really captures uh, that moment. Uh, just the way it was recorded. Like, I remember walking in through the door at CBGB's. And like you, you know, you'd hear this dull thud down on the other side of the room, and it was like nine times out of ten, it, it was it was you know the band that would be cause for alarm. And you guys played a lot, and cause for alarm was a real intricate, integral part of that of that early hardcore scene. And, and this this record is just this thing is uh, this is this is a classic. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, in the early days, you know, we were. You know, from A7 to CBGB's, and then, uh, you know, we decided to move to San Francisco. So we took the whole band to San Francisco. But, uh, and then, and then, and then you joined, you joined AF after, right? Yeah. Cause we, uh, like kind of like broke up and then they reformed with Chris Cherokee as the singer. Right. Afterwards. Right. Let me see. Uh, let me see what else I have. Um, well, here, this, this sort of, this sort of harkens back to that era right here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. What kind of bass was that, that you played on, on all that, uh, that AF stuff? That was a Vantage bass. Wow. Like this really heavy wood with a really solid tone to it. I don't know where I got it from, but I just, I had it and it just really sounded great. So I, I kept using it. Do you still have that bass? No. <laughs> That's too I, got, bad. I, 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 I mean, I, I like get rid of things, you know, when I, I don't need them anymore. I get rid of them. It's just that that thing was so heavy. Yeah, that, but, but you, that's the bass you played. That's the bass you played on, um, Agnostic Front Victim in Pain, right? No, I used a, uh, I think I used a Fender Precision on, on Victim in Pain. Oh, I, I thought, I thought it was this bass. I had a Fender Precision, which was like all the, all the paint was scratched off it. <laughs> let me see, uh, let me see what else I got, what else I got here. Um, well, it looks like, I mean, this is, this is a more recent photo when you're, you're playing a Fender Precision here, right? Yeah, that that the paint's still on that one. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that's a nice that's a nice piece. Let me find um let me find something that that uh, being it's a being that's a it's an A7 Sunday matinee show. Um, let me let me find what do I got here? What do I got? Oh, right here's a classic right here, bro. Come on now. What's up here? What's going on here, man? Oh, that's me and Billy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me like and Billy went to high school together. And oh, uh, really? I brought him to his first show. Wow, where? You know, Let me guess. Jersey, Let me guess. And, you know, I, I, would, I, I took him to a Bad Brain show, and, like, and ever since then he got hooked. And, uh, you know, then, you know, the history is, you know, you know, he went to SOD and everything, but uh, uh, you know, we always we hung. He's like my best buddy. Let me guess, Nutley High School? No, no, I, I this was in another high school. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me find. Um, let me let me find this uh, something a little more recent with you guys, and, and let, let's talk about this a bit. Um, <clears throat> I got it. Yeah, here you go. Let's talk about this, Yasko. Boom. Oh, uh, this was uh, if if you can encapsulate the energy in that room in a picture, this is it. Uh, I think Mr. Daly took this picture. Uh, this was the first show at A7 for us, for me, 
Um, and the weirdest thing was, you know, when you get on stage, you got all that energy, you're just ready to perform. And, you, you know, you, you kind of pump yourself up. And then every now and then I turn around and look and I see the plaque and it kind of reminded me of where I was. And it kind of put me in my place saying, you know, I'm sharing this room with so many people who have done it better and done it right. And it was an honor to get in there and, and really make it happen. And he captured that, that perfect moment. And actually to catch Carlos, our guitar player, doing his Air Jordan impersonation was even better. Yeah, this is, I love these photos where, you know, the, you see the plaque looming in the background, you know, it, it's, it's so awesome. It's like, you know, it, it's, it's the bridge, you know, it's like the past and the present and man, yep. that room, that room is, is that's, that's why we call it the magic room, man, is, is, is because, you know, it's almost like the, 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 when you, when you put the, 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 um, the two, whatever you call it, together, the bzz, 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 you know, uh, total, total energy. It, it's like, it's like playing a game of baseball in Monument Park in Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, 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 it's that feel of it. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's great. It's great. Hey, man, I, listen, thanks a lot for, for stopping by. Hang out a little bit. I'll bring you back on. I'm going to keep, keep the ball rolling here on this A7 Saturday matinee show. So I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit, okay? All Sounds right, great. Drew. Thanks, Kabula. Thanks, Yasko. There you go, uh, Yasko and Rob Kabula from uh Debo hammer look truth be told like we could talk to these dudes for two hours about shit we can get into stuff with rob kabula till the cows come home you know um but you know we're trying to we're trying to fit a lot in here um the new york hardcore chronicles live sponsored by fryette amplification and new york hardcore comics please support me on patreon come be a patron support the show support me i'm releasing a lot of great stuff that's never uh, before been seen on that page. So please take off your yarmulke and get on the page and throw down. Um, let's keep it moving here. Oh, big shout out here. Yo, it's shout out time. Yo, big shout out to my brother, Evan Stone, who's out there in Venice Beach, California. Yo, bro, we're going to get you on the, listen, if I got dad on the show, I'm going to get you on the show. So what do we got here? From James, I also wanted to add my boy, Tony P. Him and I went to tons of shows in the mid-80s. New York Hardcore Brother, thanks for keeping it going. You got it, James. That's kind of like what's, what's – uh, what do we got here? Oh, boom. Shout out to the Six Borough Radio Show and Vince or No Voice, whatever that means. Come on, man. You got to read your text. You got to read your text before you send them through. Hashtag shout out Sunday. Exactly, Murph. It's, 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 it's shout out Sunday. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep it moving. Clock, socks, bagels, and locks. Let me get a let me get a few banners up here. Boom. New York Hardcore Comics. Boom. Fryat Amplification. Boom. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live. Boom. I'm your host, Drew Stone. And so next up on the show is our good friend representing the Bronx, our good pal and front man of another. A7 band. Let's hear it. Mr. Davey Hooligan from Yo Yo and Zaguri. What's happening? Drew, what's good? What's going on? Oh, I see you got a New York hardcore hat on. Yeah, yeah. The Diablo brand. Is the that, you got is that a Danny record. Diablo? Is that a Danny D? Is that yeah, a <laughs> yeah? I was laughing at that when you asked him about it at the uh the other day when you were interviewing him. Hey, listen, I'll say this about the Danny Diablo show. A lot of people have watched that show since it aired. Like oh, sure, yeah. The shit with Trapped definitely blew up uh, people trying to figure out who he is, what he's about. Yo, when Danny Diablo says international superstar, he's not joking. I mean, yeah. that show to date has, I think, like close to 13,000 people have watched that show. And that's that's quite a bit. But you know what? Fuck all that. Let's talk about you and me, bro. What's going on, man? All right, brother. Tell me about the band. What's happening with the band? Where are you at? What's the latest? Well, right now... Uh, Walter's still in Argentina. He's going on almost two months being stuck over there. He went home to visit his family. And uh, then the COVID out, uh, pandemic happened. And now he's just kind of stranded over there until things calm down. Uh, Matt's been writing a lot of stuff. If you follow his uh, Instagram page, he's been putting up a lot of base covers of our covers, other covers. He's got like new stuff coming. Julio's just been laying low. Julio, shout out if you're out there, hit me up. Um, yeah, but 
other than that, we've just been trying to keep the ball rolling. I try to, you know, post some new footage, a new video, a new video of a, a past live show or something every day on the Instagram or on the Facebook. If you check the YouTube page, there's usually new stuff going up. Um, but yeah, I think we're just taking the time to write. And then when this, when we can all be in the same room, hopefully we'll hit the studio and just push out another record, push out another EP. We were planning to uh, promote, spend the whole month of April promoting Bronx Zoo EP. So if you guys are on Spotify or whatever, go check it out. We didn't get a chance to hit the road with a loose like we were planning to. But um, yeah, we were supposed to play A7, I think April 3rd. We were excited for that. Play with the high and the mighty. Uh, Kings Never Die. There's a lot of good bands that, you know, we're looking forward to. That's going to be our second time playing. I'm looking for the um, I'm looking for the album cover. I think I have it somewhere. Uh, here yeah. you go. Boom, right? Yep, yep. The, it was done by Caitlin Chen. Caitlin, shout out. Uh, you can follow her on Instagram at Caitlin Chen Art. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really proud of it. It's a it's a almost thematic album. It, every song is named after a different animal, so we figured why not just call Brock <laughs> Zoo EP. Right uh, on. Yeah, but yeah, I hope people like it. We had this. We did a split with None Above All called Meanwhile in New York off right. Buzz Therapy Records. Uh, we love those guys. We did a cover of their song, um, and we did two two originals on that. So, check it out. So, do you do you um do you guys consider do you consider yourself a Bronx band? Uh, I, I mean, in the beginning, we were an all Bronx band. We've been a band for five years now, and at this point, it's just me and Julio that live in the Bronx. Matt lives in uh, Jersey, and Walter currently lives in Brooklyn, is originally from Argentina. So I think we're just, you know, a New York City band. That's like the best way I could put it. We're just a mishmash, like the melting pot of uh, hardcore punk bands that is, you know, still still push, still waving the, the flag for the Bronx. But that's just, you know, me and Julio at this point. We're still yo, a Bronx band. Yo, yo, the Bronx is sort of like when it comes to New York hardcore, you know, the Bronx, you know, Let's talk about a couple of Bronx hardcore bands, all right? Okay. Let's throw yeah, a couple absolutely. out there. District Nine. Absolutely love them. The yeah. one of the one of the things that got me into think like, oh, I want to go see a hardcore show was watching the uh, the old school '90s New York hardcore doc where Puerto Rican Mike sitting at like Westchester Square talking <laughs> about getting uh, his mom stripping his vest and like giving it to a homeless person. I was just like, yeah, I know. I feel like I could know this guy. You know, like this is. Like I, I'm familiar with the area. District Nine, great band. We were well, supposed to other, um, other other great Bronx hardcore bands. Billy Club Sandwich. Oh, Billy shit. Club. I just watched. It. If you get a chance, there's a crazy video of them from 1999 playing in an attic in Far Rockaway, Queens. I just watched <laughs> it on YouTube while I'm on lockdown. I mean, check it out. You know, like bands I love. Just watching stuff. I came across that. I was like, what the fuck is this? Wow. Um, that's, that's funny. Listen, you, you, quit, uh, you know, Billy Club Sandwich, like, you know, Glenn, Glenn Lorio plays drums at Billy Club Sandwich, and he and no also Rede plays drums in ne No Redeeming Social Value, right? Yeah, shout out to those guys, Dino. Yeah, yeah for sure, Dean, yeah. And a while back, when I was doing the A7 shows, I talked to Glenn, I said, yo, let's get Billy Club Sandwich in the A7 to play. And he was like, bro, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You know? I I, I said the same thing. I saw him at This Is Hardcore this past year in Philly. Yep. I was like, oh, when, why don't you guys play? Because, you know, I've seen him at the shows. And he's like, ah, I don't know, man. I don't know if we really want to, like, do that to that room. I was like, yeah, yeah I that's, get that. that. That's what it is. I mean, we love those guys. But, like. What up, Courtney? Th th those, uh, that, those guys in that. First off, those guys are all big guys. You big, know? Yeah, big dudes. Big, they wouldn't even fit on the stage. Malone, Mutley, Martin, they're all, yeah, they're all you big. Know, and like, and, 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 and the people that come to see them play really get physical, you know? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. That room, the mirror, that room would just get destroyed, you know? Yeah. So we got to be, we get, we got to be careful with that. So uh, let me, let me dig out a photo here um, and let's talk about it a little bit. Sure. Um, also, shout out to Crazy Eddie, Cripple Dern. There's a, there you uh, go. Dog Breath. There's a bunch of really good Bronx hardcore bands. Coming up is uh wait you know what I got an old I got an oldie picture of you like yo what's, what's going on here son what's happening here <laughs> that's uh um, that's I think 2006 or 2007 
I'm on tour with my my old punk band, 42 Grams of Heart Attack. In the picture, uh, to my left is my boy Nick Shank. To my right is my boy Ken Susie, and in front is uh, an FDNY fireman, Will Spratt. Uh, but yeah, this was 42 Grams. And then Mike Terry was driving the van. Mike Terry of the Jukebox Romantics was driving the van when this picture was being taken. So yeah, this was. Yeah, this was. Uh, oh, yo, who's, yo, who's more punk rock than you, bro? With, with, with rock, rock, <laughs> Rocky the Johnny, rocking the Johnny Cash shirt. You know? Yeah, Johnny Cash was fresh, fresh bleach. I think we all dyed our hair together to head out on that tour that summer. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Let me see. Uh, let's see what else we have in the archive here. Let me dig it. Let me dig in. Do it. Yeah. Get up. Get down. Let me dig in. Um, this this is a cool one. Left. Maybe well, you know what? I want to go. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go, go here. Um, this, okay. <laughs> this, now, this, now, I know what this is. This is this is a place that um, I think no longer exists. This is Brooklyn Bazaar, right? Yeah, this is Brooklyn Bazaar at the New York Hardcore Chronicles 1.5. Oh, uh, my man. Nice. Yeah, yeah. This is we played with Crippled Urn. We played with uh, C and Red. It was... A good time. I, I actually hadn't seen some of these pictures till uh, Steve was sending them to me when we were talking about doing the show. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, our, our uh, old drummer, Royce, in the background, Six Pack John on the right, back when we were still a five-piece. Um, that's the most intense Julio face I've seen in a while. <laughs> I think I'm picking up change or catching my breath. I can't yeah. tell. And this, this photo, of course – by our very own Stephen Hardcore Shutterbug Messina. Yep, yep. So, mm -hmm. so that, that, that's cool. Um, let me see. I think I, I got one more here, and, I'm, uh, and then you know, let's bring in some of the other guys and kick it around a little bit. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, I got I got to throw in shout uh, out to Mike Gallo. I love the shirt. Thank you, Mike. Is Mike oh, Gallo yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Mike Gallo shirt. Ah, nice. What's going on yeah, this, here? This, we're playing the uh, the A seven room right up right behind uh, Royce is the the A seven plaque. That was this was the first show I believe right. This was the first show ever with uh, yeah Razor Blade and um, yeah this was a crazy show. This was a hey. lot of fun. Okay, here's a question coming in for you, Dave. Do you like the new Clone uh, Wars? <laughs> uh, I I didn't at first. I do like the uh, the new mall story arc, but I didn't really like the uh, the bad batch and then the you know. But it's you know, who, who, did you expect much? I didn't expect much. Maybe that's why I thought it was all right. Right on. When this right. is over, I got a few toys for you, Bones. <laughs> Listen, I don't think Rat Bones is going to run out of toys anytime soon. To, no, to, no, but I know he's a collector like me. That's yeah, yeah no, absolutely, stuff. but you know. You know, rap boards. He ta he takes on all comers. Let's bring on some of the other guys. Let's bring yeah. on Ryan and uh... Ryan. Yo, Yo, me and Ryan played my my uh, Enziguri, and I think Ake's last show were together with Cool Keith. So <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with you, Ryan. Yeah, same man. What I respect about your band, man, is that we can play any type of show, hardcore, hip hop, whatever, you know. Oh yeah, no, that was great. I had a, I had a blast. Shout out to Sly Coop of the Dope Rebels and Cool Keith for letting a bunch of hardcore bands play. That was like a cool mix of uh, music and and people. That was a good time. There you go. Um, so yeah, I mean, you guys are all kind of A seven bands. It's a, it's an A seven Sunday matinee show. Um, we brought Rap Bones in also because Rap Bones always had something to say. Rap know. Bones. Yeah. What up, Rob? What up, Brian? What up, Davey? Yo, what's up? Yo, what up, Rap Bones? I want to take. Uh, I don't think. I don't think Ed Zaguri and Dead Blow Hammer have played together yet. So we gotta. We well, gotta we're gonna make that happen, man. We're, we're gonna figure that out. We'll get you guys up in the Bronx. Anybody? I, gotta, I, work in the Bronx. I got a question for Rob. Rob. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's a hey, Rob? Tell us about tell us about this a little bit, will you, Kabula? Oh yeah, that was. Uh... Oh, holy shit. Jesus. oh, here's my toy. <laughs> I got this one. Wow, what's that? 
Yo, oh. what's up? Yeah. Wow. All right. Wow. You want me to run down? Wow. <laughs> hey, Rappos, tell Stella to turn off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was me. That was me. Oh. So, hey, listen, anybody out there got any questions? Let, let's take Yeah, a the weirder the better. Let's answer yeah, some Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's take a couple of questions out there. Uh, go deep. And uh, or any shout outs, let's hear some questions. Uh, what's going on? Post up some shit. We're heading down the home stretch. Uh, yeah, the show might go along a little long today. But who really gives a fuck? Where the fuck are you going anyway? So, I mean, that's kind of the deal, right? I mean, I know all you guys in Europe uh, want to go to sleep soon. So, you know, if you have to sign off and go to sleep, uh, we're not going to be mad at you. So, here we go. Uh, please post up some questions, post up some dumb shit. Let's have some fun. Uh, first thing, first thing in. Uh, didn't Enziguri play with Dead Blow Hammer at Punk Island? Oh yeah, I guess, I guess that's possible. Uh -huh, we, we, we did play together. Uh, <laughs> sort of. But it was a big, uh, big island. I mean, everybody, everybody plays Punk Island, right? Yeah, I was gonna say that's a yeah. hard, hard to keep track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, a lot of people there. Here's. Um, this is for you, Davey. Where did you get the name Enziguri from? So Enziguri is actually a, a, pro, a pro wrestling move where uh, you you spin kick somebody to the side of the head. And our former drummer, Royce, actually found out that it comes from two separate words, Enzu and Guri, which in some loose translation means like head chop. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Right on. Um. Let me – I got another one here. How about – Oh, my God. No redeeming in Fahrenheit sharing a no, room. Here you go. Would, uh, this, is, this is coming from across the pond in the U.K. would be great if Deadblow Hammer could come to Scotland. That would sure, be fantastic. Well, I'll go. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. We, we, we have some fans. We have some fans. Uh, shout out to our fans in the U.K. That's a good Scottish really, who... fan. I'll come out and drink it too. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to get out there, man. We'd love to get out there. Cool. That'd be awesome. I guess this is the this is the question, uh, Kabula. Is Dead Blow Hammer related to Against the Grain? Yeah, because you played in you played in Against the Grain, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, we just changed the name, really. Oh, really? Yeah, we're kind of like the same band members, but we oh. just decided to do something fresh, you know. I didn't know that. I never knew that. Were you in that band, Yasso? No, I, I'm the I'm the second the, the newest member. I, I've been with the band for about five years. I joined it when it was a, when they first nah, released I can't the first. Hear anything. You can't hear me. Yeah. Can you? I can hear okay. you. So about five years ago, they released their first seven inch as Deblo Hammer. I came on board shortly after that. Cool. Uh, here's a question for you, Ryan. Remember sharing rehearsal space with no redeeming social value in Fahrenheit 451. Yeah, I do. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's funny because uh, I think H2O was rehearsal next door. And uh, wow. so it was kind of hard to, to rehearse when H2O was like rehearsing next door. <laughs> Where was <laughs> that? Start... Uh, was that in the music building? No, that was in like Midtown. It was like 20 something street. Right. Um, I forget I forget the name of the building, but uh, I remember like not being able to practice because H2O was playing. Because I'm singing along. I mean, it's like we would stop and just go home. <laughs> You've got mail. Cool. Let me see what else What else we got there. Hey, yo, what's up with Dean from No Redeeming? What's yo, Dean, you got to come <laughs> on the show, man. Yo, Dean, you got to come on the show. Uh, you know, I reach, I read your fucking Facebook messages, bro. I reached out to you about coming on the fucking show. So come on, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This okay. could be you, Dean. Yeah, this, this, this could, this could be. Here, here's a good one. Here's a good one for Ryan. You ready? Yeah. Ryan, Beth Smith's album is? Cool. <laughs> um, my, my favorite Smith's album is, uh, is uh, Hateful of Hollow, the compilation. No. All right. Okay. Uh, what do we got here from Metal Gabe? At Asbury Lanes, when you open for Agnostic Front... What were those psychos, Cause for Alarm, and Against the Grain songs you did? Also, Gary, thanks for the hat. Oh, you got so what was that all about, Gary? 
so we, we played Asbury Lane's, uh, it was an incredible show with, with AF and Prong. And it was just, it was, it was a great night. So we, we, um, we did a uh, Force to Reckon, which was uh, an Against the Grain song that, that we actually, it's going to, we just re-recorded. Um, it, it was, it was just an amazing night. You couldn't, couldn't ask for a better venue. I know there's a lot of people out there, the, the venues don't treat you right. That venue was fantastic from top to bottom. They took care of you. We had a lighting consultation, if that gives you any yes. kind of indication. Wow. <laughs> I mean, no, they're incredible. They're incredible. Hey, uh, here's another one. Hey, is Kabula related to Stigma? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, you know, because they went to the bars and they said, oh, yeah, here's, here's free drinks for you. Oh, they thought I was Stigma. <laughs> cool. Let's see. What, <laughs> let me see what, what else. Um, what else we got here? I want to shout out uh, Metal Gabe, and uh, it's shout out time. What do you got? Anybody? Yeah, Gabe. I'm sorry, I didn't get back to you. I'll get. I will get back to you. Yo, you didn't get back to Metal Gabe. That's no, I, up. I know. I fucked up. I fucked up. I felt really bad. Hey, uh, yep. just uh, hang in there a second, guys. I want to. I want to uh, do a sponsor thing. All right. All sure. right. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. These are our sponsors. Support them. Also, get on my Patreon page and be a patron. I want to shout out my new patrons who just got on the page during the show. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the show. Uh, Johanna, yo, thank you, love. I hope everything's well uh, where you are. And also, Allison, thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for supporting the show. Um, I'm going to put lots of cool shit up on that page. Also, I got to mention a couple of shows that are coming up here. Um, I know uh, next show is uh, is going to be Downset. That's, uh, that's this Wednesday, so everybody check into that. And then after that, we have Freddie Madball coming up, and that is going to be this Friday. So everybody has to check in uh, on this Friday. I want to I want to go big also and mention a couple shows that are little that 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 are way down the road. Uh, let me just mention one of them. That's a week from today. Uh, we got a real banger, and that is let me find that sucker. Yo, one week from today. One week from today, it's, this is going to be the godfather of New York hardcore. Is coming on the show. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, my friend and yours, Mr. Vinny Stigma is on the show. Hey, Vinny. A week, a, a week from today. So, you know, everybody, uh, everybody has, to, uh, has to tune into that. And, you know, also, like, of course, you know that, you know, the, the only way that I got Stigma on the show – is I had to get Danielle on the show because Stigma really, <laughs> Stigma doesn't really, uh, you know, know how to handle the technology these days. So the move was to get his him get his girl Danielle on. But listen, Danielle, Danielle, uh, you know, has her own cachet. She's the singer for Blood, an old day seven band. And listen, we meet, we we need more women on the show or gals, as we say, or goyles. Whatever we need more females of the species on the show. So uh, hey, answer the hey, who's answer the door, man? <laughs> Doorbell ringing. That's all right. It's just Amazon. God uh, knows my wife ordered something else. Listen, Great. I, I know that. Anyway. So anyway, so that's what's up. I uh, just want to shout out, um, you know, upcoming shows and upcoming people. Uh, let me see. Yeah, exactly. Vinny has a computer. Uh, no, Vinny doesn't have a computer. That's why Danielle's <laughs> coming on the show. You know, yes, Danielle, you're famous. That's true. Oh, I can't believe Stigma's gotten the stigma has got on the show. <laughs> yo, yo, we got, yo, know, God bless you, Danielle. <laughs> Stigma's in a week. Uh, Johanna, thank you uh, for being a patron. Cannot wait. People are excited about that. Um, so, yeah, here you go. I was going to say, Vinny's going to have more tech problems than Jay Skin from yesterday. Yeah, man. <laughs> These shows are fucking stressful, man, with this tech shit. That's like, you know, we got to do a test the day before. We got to all get up. You know, it's like, it, 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 it's tough. It's tough. So, so yeah, um, that 
Any anything else? Anybody got any anything else? Uh, later on tonight, I got a, an episode of the Brooklyn Blast Furnace dropping tonight at midnight. Jimmy Ferrari, me, me and Jimmy Ferrari sat down at Generation Records and had a, a talk about old shows and just a bunch of stuff. So that should be cool. Um, check that out. Cool. A- absolutely, Jimmy Ferrari Blast. Oh, Drew, Drew. Bad. Let me just say this. I can't hear Rob. <laughs> Don't let the fucking government take your rights away and tell you you can't go out and do all this shit. Think for yourself. Wear your fucking mask, but go out. I've been out this whole fucking time. Don't let them fucking take everything away. Close your fucking business and everything. Are you are you are you directing that to me personally or <laughs> everybody, out to everybody out there? Okay. I can't I can't hear him. Okay. Uh, listen, you, you heard it. That's words of wisdom from, from Rob Kabula. Don't let the government dictate to you uh, what you can and cannot do. Uh, you know, go out, you know, uh, freedom of choice, like Diva would say. You know, you, if yes. you want to go out, go out. Just wear a mask. And listen, if you get anywhere near me, you better be wearing a fucking mask. As a matter of fact, <laughs> don't even fucking come near me, man. Uh, yeah, wear a fucking nice. mask. That's all. Yeah, nice. Wear a, wear a I, fucking I, I, mask. I tell you what's crazy is um, I'm down here with, with, with my dad and, and he lives like it's in an apartment building. And I think what's become the scariest thing is when you have to get in the elevator. That, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. Like, elevators is, are scary. They're small. Elevator, uh, elevators are fucked up. And, Hit it you with know, your phone. Yeah. With the button. <laughs> well, I've been out this whole time. I have not stopped working. And I'm in the fucking Bronx. Just stay away from people and wear a mask. That's all. But you go out. That's Don't all. Here you go. Scared. Don't let the government tell you what to do. There, there you go. Uh, amen, amen, Kabula. Rick you know? BX guy. Hey, here's a request. Drew, check out Combust for a future episode. The band is so awesome, like Raw Deal a bit. Hey, Andrew, if you, um, you know, uh, Combust was uh, slated to play an A7 show and they backed out. Um, I haven't spoken to Andrew since. So listen, you want to reach out to him and tell him, you can tell him yourself, bro. I don't chase fucking people around for this show. That's for goddamn sure. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, <laughs> elevators are fucked up, LOL. Yeah, well, here you go. Take the stairs, Drew. To be honest with you, <laughs> I, I do take the stairs all the time. We're on the seventh floor. I take the, I take the stairs all the time. But, yo, my dad's 87. And he ain't going up and down seven flights of stairs. So, you know, once in a while, we got to get in that fucking, here you go, shoot Lysol. What do you have to say about that, Kabula? What's up with the shoot Lysol thing? <laughs> yeah, just drink some bleach, you know. Uh, didn't drunk like that. You know, drink bleach. Two shots of bleach, you know. <laughs> hey, big, a big shout out here uh, from, from, from Rick Yule. Shout out to Berks County, PA, supporting hardcore for 35 years. Boom. That's, that's good. Here, here you go. We got to protect Arnie Stone. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm here. That's what the mass are for, Drew. Well, I, <laughs> hey, listen, I, I want to thank you, Davey, for, for sending me uh, a, a couple of masks. Oh, what yeah, about you, yeah, Rappos? Rappos, you get in the elevator over there? No, I don't like the elevator. I like uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's weird. It's like the people who won't listen, like always, you know? Selfish people that want to run over you, then be wrong, and then you're wrong when you call them or fuck them. But it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad in the city. It's like Kabul said. You're gonna let them control your whole brain every day. Come on, it worked a little, but now it's like enough is enough. Don't let them control you. From now on, I am going to control you. You will will get on my Patreon page. You will become a patron. You will support this show. You will will become the man. You will listen to me. Hey, here we go. Here's a shout out to Tim. Yo, here's yo. Listen, listen, nicest dude. Here's a shout out uh, from Tim Daly, uh, who's uh, one of the great New York hardcore photographers and documenters of the scene. A shout out to the A7, all the bands and the people that continue to show up. Listen, um, I'm putting together a show in the future. We're going to bring on all the New York, Har- uh, the, the New York hardcore photographers, Tim Daly, the hardcore Rick fire Fuller, squad, you know, Steven, 
you know, the New York Hardcore Firing Squad. We've got, we want to get Michelle on there too. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about uh, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I've said it before with the show, we're, we're going to do a lot of different things too. Um, I'm going to bring on some filmmakers and some actors and, and a couple of different things because, yo, we can only hear from these New York motherfuckers, New York hardcore motherfuckers so much. You know what I mean? We, we got we to mix it up a little bit, right? Yep. Yep. Um, let's see. The dude, elevator crew over here. You know, abso absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. So, look. Um, so here's, here's another shout out here for Michael Terry. The JBR family sends mad love to Davey and the Enziguri family and to Caitlin for kicking ass. She's the most hardcore. Love you, Mike. Send you, you and Maggie, you guys are the best. Yo, Johanna, shout out to Rich. Uh, we, are you, we assume you're talking about Rich Zoller. So uh, <laughs> there, there you go. Might be some other Rich. Tim Daly, Worldwide Hardcore Firing Squad. Uh, there, there, there you go. Hey, I just got another Patriot. Yo, see, see, it works. It, it works. works. You work it, bro. And I then want you to I want. That's what it was. It, 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 welcome, yeah. welcome, uh, Pugsy uh, from from We All Die. Thank you for being a patron. Thank you for supporting me and for we supporting all die. the Good show. Day. Good dude. Yeah, Pugsy. Good guy. That, that's your that's guy, right, That's my homeboy, man. Right from, from, from right, yeah. Jersey. He used to sing for Social Decay. Pugsy's had quite a number of bands. Past yeah. Rage, Social Decay. He's a real hard-working musician. I mean, he really loves to play. And uh, I love all the Social Decay guys, but sometimes people need to get out of other people's thumb, and then they can shine. And I think Pugsy did that really well. Well, there you go, man. Rap Bones loves you, Pugsy. Uh, here's a shout-out here. <laughs> If it wasn't for A7 and Drew putting these shows on, I've seen so many old school goons I haven't seen in years. Thank you, Drew. And drink when you're there. Shit ain't free. Right. <laughs> yep. Listen, be, be, being that this is an A7 show, I, I'll do the pitch. Listen, you cheap fucks. If you're drinking, <laughs> drink. If you're drinking, drink. If you're not drinking, drink. Shit ain't free. There's no such thing as free. Okay, if you, if all you straight edge motherfuckers out there, you know, go to the bar and buy a ginger beer or a coke. Also, I don't want Shirley see, Temple, baby. I don't want to see anybody going across the street and buying booze or anything like that and coming back over here. That shit's gonna piss me off. And tip your bartenders. And tip Always your tip bartenders, your bartender. you cheap fucks. That's right. That's right. So, <laughs> so there, there you go. Uh, Drew. Yeah. Drew, let me get a few shout outs if I can. Yeah, hold on. And Acton. Oh, hi. Silence Equals Death, Car Bomb Parade, and Rage, who just dropped a great new single. You guys should check them out. Uh, Urban Waste, RBNX, uh, our friends in DEFCON 1, NJHC, just great band. You guys check them out if you can. That's it. Oh, good bands. All good bands. Hey, uh, we're, we're going to wrap it up now. Um, I, I, quick, I quickly want to say hello to Luke. What's happening, Luke? Hi. How are you, buddy? Good. Are you letting your hair grow long? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> he is good. He may look old right now, but he's really not. Uh, uh, that's Luke good. Gay, you heard they cut, they canceled free comic book day, right, Luke? Yeah. Tell them we got. Hey, what's on your on shirt, on. Luke? Let me see your shirt. Let me see your shirt, Luke. What's on? Uh, Minecraft creeper. Oh wow, that's cool. Glow in the dark. Wow. Nice. Wow. Look at Luke, Luke ramping up his game down there uh, <laughs> in Chelsea, huh? Hey, listen, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank all you guys for coming by. Thank you, Drew. Davey from Enziguri. Thank you. Yacht thank you. Oscar from Kabula, Deblo Hammer, Ryan from Ake. I love you guys. And uh, listen, all hey, love. yeah, this isn't going to last forever. And uh, you guys are A7 bands. Let's do it, yeah. Yeah, when we get this thing going again, we're going to have like a 48 straight hours of music at the end. Oh, yeah, we'll play every eight Hell if we yeah. can. <laughs> Hell yeah. Perfect. We're, that was we're great. Do something crazy. So thanks again. If, if, if you guys want to hang out stay on the air after the show, we have a little bit of a chat. So I'll talk to you guys then, all right? All right, see you Take later. it easy. All right, Drew. Yeah. Be well. Thank you. Right. Yeah, man. Thank you. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah, man. Good show today, guys. Yeah, it was good.
It's good. Woo! Listen, that was a little long. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank everybody around the world uh, for for uh, for tuning in. Uh, we we got uh, we got a whole bunch of great shows coming up. We got some real bangers. How about this? Yo, it's the zombie apocalypse, and fuck it, I'm going out with fucking with fucking sideburns, man. I don't give a fuck at this point. You know what I mean? I de- Yo, who's got sideburns like this? So let's see it. Um, what else? Uh, a couple of last, a couple last shout outs. Uh, another amazing show under your belt. Well, thank you, on we, we appreciate it. Uh, awesome show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's this one? New York hardcore. Yeah, brother. That's, that's pretty much it, man. You know, um, thank Thanks. And take care. Listen, on the way out the door, I want to thank our sponsors, Fryette Amplification and New York Hardcore Comics. Yo, these guys have stepped up and have supported the show and have made this thing happen. So, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, that's awesome. And also what else? Oh, shouting out Laurent in, in France. Thank you, brother. Uh, yo, shouting out Larry Kelly, uh, old school Boston hardcore. Thank you, buddy. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, what's happening, Aaron, uh, in Bristol, UK? Represent, bro. Thank you so much so much for, for shopping by. Yo, Larry the Hunter from Kings Never Die and Murphy's Law. Thank you, brother. You got to come up on the show uh, uh, again. Yo, Metal Gabe, thanks a million. I uh, love you guys. Uh, we'll be on again on, on Wednesday with Downset. That should be pretty cool. Chris Hoffman, thank you, brother. Thank you for, thank you for stopping by. Uh, Andrew, another great show. Hey, listen. I'm starting to get better at it, and thank you for sticking with me. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of the lay land. Yo, also, yo, I'm doing, I'm doing this. Uh, I'm really restricted here. Yo, back home in New York, I have yo a, a, a big desktop computer with a big monitor. I'm doing it down here on a little laptop. It's hard to move the stuff in and out. But yo, who cares? The shows are great. We're having a good time, right? So you don't need to hear that bullshit from me. Um, also, uh, one last thing before we, we hit the road and we bring in our regulars and, and say goodbye. Um, I want to just scroll the uh, Patreon page once again. Yo, this Patreon thing is what enables me to do this. So please get on the page and get involved. There's a lot of fun stuff on there. I'm going to make a lot of never before seen Unique stuff available on the Patreon page. There's a couple of tiers of stuff. Uh, at a certain point, uh, we're going out and doing the Drew Stone Cinematic and uh, Music Walking Tour of New York. At a certain tier, I do the New York Hardcore Chronicles 10 questions starring you. And at another at another tier, you're a sponsor of the show and you come on the show with me. But either way, uh, I'm, I'm starting to build that all, all as well. Um, I hope I haven't talked too much today. It, it was kind of a blabbermouth show, but... Uh, but you know, it, it, it's that it's that kind of thing. Uh, shouting out Steen in Denmark, you're going to be a part of that international international show. Uh, Pugsy, thanks for getting involved. You're going to come on also. Don't worry about it. Um, yo, oh Ed, Defcom One, what's happening, brother? Nice to hear from you, and thanks for thanks for stopping by. So, all right, listen, I could go on with this shit all day, but let's wind it down. Let's bring on Sid. Uh, let's bring let's bring on you know. What what we think would be rap owns. Uh Let's let's bring on uh, Stephen Messina. What's happening? Hey, hey. hey, I got a question. You guys remember See Here Books? It used to be on St. Mark's. Yeah, I, I remember it. I was just literally well, as you were showing the Kabula pictures. I went into my shelf. Do you remember this book? Ah. Yes, of course. Hold on, hold on. Yes, of course. T- tell us about it. That's Bree. Well, yeah, that's that's Bree Hurley's book, of course. Yeah. I've had this. It came out in 1989, and I and it looks it's brand new. I mean, all my stuff. I think is- I think recently I think she updated the book and put out an updated version of that. I I think because I, I as soon as I saw his picture, I said, "Is that in that book?" And I ran in there and I found it. And, oh, uh, the, oh, the picture with Mr. Kabula. I I don't see, I don't see Kabula. I see lots of Todd use. I see. I mean, there's some great great stuff in here. Right. And, I think the book- here, here you go. For, I guess apparently Freddie Alva worked there uh, is what Chris is telling us. I I used to. I, that's where I bought all my Rollins books when they first came out. Right. Yeah. Oh, by it, the way. What? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I was going to say, uh, being that it's a shout out day, uh, I wanted to shout out uh, the Reverend uh, Nikki Bullets today. Did an excellent acoustic live on Facebook today. He played for like an hour, and he shouted out the show uh, really nicely. Said a lot of great things about the show, and he's he's the guy's incredible. He does incredible stuff, and uh, he's he's a he's a fantastic acoustic player as well. Listen, we love that guy, and we love the car bomb parade, you know. And and you know this is a this is. Uh, the conclusion of a uh, A7 Saturday matinee show, and you know uh, the Car Bomb Parade is an A7 band, and 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 there's quite a bit of them. Hey, you know what? You know what I got here? You know what? I'll put up a second. Let me find this thing. Uh, this is something that uh, you and I designed, Stephen. Um, this is, you know, we talked about before before the uh, the zombies started uh, started biting people that we were going to do an updated A7 uh, shirt. This sort of a yep. throwback to the back, to that throwback to the old shirt, and this was gonna, this is going to be the back of the shirt. Uh, it I, is, yeah. And this kind of has everybody on it: End of Hope, The Last Stand, Dead Blow Hammer, Kings Never Die, The Craze, Car Bomb Parade, Locked Inside, No Compromise, Diamond Dogs. You know, th this 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 has everybody on it. Um, chances are. Um, when I feel like uh, throwing some money around again, we're going to print up a bunch of these shows. Right now, I'm, I'm right now I'm using my money on um, fuel and ammunition. So when, when <laughs> warrior style, that yeah. might be a nice thing for the Patreon. You know the uh... yeah, you're right, you're right, absolutely. I mean, this has the whole this has the whole gang on it. Um, you know, a, a lot of our friends and and you know all, all the. Uh, all the A7 bands, you know, so, and, and then the A, so, you know, eventually we'll, we'll get that going, you know? Now we can, we can refer to that shirt as BC. That's before Corona. Yeah, there you and go. Then, and then next yeah. wave. I know we were just about to play there, like, the next week, and Sid's other band was going to play there again, and just uh, shout out to Serial Poets. We were just about there. We were going to play with Locked Inside, and oh, it was going to be an amazing day. And I'm still. Let me see. Let me, see let, me, let me find that show a second. Uh, what was that? That was going to be. That was that was going to be the the one year anniversary show. What the fuck is that? Hold on. Let me find that. You get the good good Galactus, I believe. Oh no! Listen, I'm going to put up a fly here. That uh, that we we were holding back that we were going to use, but this is the show that this is the show that you're talking about. This is, yo, you make you make listen, you make the best fucking flyers for this shit, man. This this is this is the flyer for that show that uh, that that uh, nobody's seen yet. You like that one? Uh, that's pretty cool, huh? I love that flyer. That's a good one. So. So yeah, listen. This show, this show's gone on a real long time. Uh, but you know what? Who really gives a fuck anyway? Um, people come, people go, people people uh, listen in. So tune in on Wednesday. I got a couple of days off now. Uh, I could do a couple of things. I can edit my new film. I could do a couple other things. I love hearing from you all around the world. I want to thank all the patrons that uh, that signed on today. I want to thank Johanna and Allison, Pugsy, uh, uh, Ivo. Elizabeth Bristow and Lonnie, who just got up, just got in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of it. It means the world to me. It really does. When people support me as an independent artist, it, it's really inspiring. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Sid, uh, dig out the record of the day. Uh, that the Misfits was awesome. That was cool. Uh, oh, Zuby, I wanted to throw just a couple of shout outs since this was a shout out. Though. I get it. Come on, get it on. Jimmy Gestapo, one of the main reasons why I wanted to DJ. Rico out in Kansas City's Boston Looking Sound Systems. Uh, my boys out in California, Low Life Sound Systems, and Johnny Stiff. These were the guys that made me want to do this. Okay, buddy. Okay. See you on Wednesday. I'm so good. Sid the Kid. Sid the Kid shouting out hard. All right, buddy. We'll, we'll see you on Wednesday, man. All right. Have a good one, guys. Hang out. We'll talk after the show if you want. Steven, thank you, buddy. Always a pleasure. Do you need to shout anybody out? You know what? Uh, again, I'm going to shout out uh, my boys in Serial Poets. And uh, we have a new EP out on uh, all fronts, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. It's called Goat. And otherwise, I want to just uh, say thank you.
appreciate everybody for making, you know, giving me something to do on Sundays, you know, and all week long, actually, this is, it's nice to do it from home and not be, uh, not be uh, in the shed at work, you know, but uh, this is nice. And you know what I get? To... Yo, how about your cat, man? Does a cat, does a cat get shout out? Yeah. Where is Daryl anyway? He's Darryl. here somewhere. <laughs> Daryl the cat. He's pretty, you know what? Rap ones. I got to say the Planet of the Apes book was a nice touch today. Yeah, well, trying to do that. We, 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 no. we, both, we both represent on the planet of the apes here, absolutely, you know? Absolutely. All right, Stephen, listen, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you real soon. We got to build a couple of flyers for upcoming shows, and we'll see yeah, you. Yeah, we do. Everyone will see you on the show on Wednesday, buddy. I'm done watching it. Later, Stephen. Whew. Well, that was fun. Yeah, real good, Drew. Yo, can I get my shout outs? Yo, come on. Go, go, big, go, big, or, go big or go home. Listen, I just want to give a shout out to all the New Jersey hardcore people out there watching the show. That's my real true family. I know I'm established here in New York now, but it really all started in New Jersey. And I also want to give a big shout out to all of you guys out there in Detroit that are going to be watching. Tell all your friends to start watching. Detroit got a big place in my heart, too. I got the trifecta. Jersey, Detroit, New York. We got it on lock. Keep watching. We got great stuff for you. And I'd like to pull some of those people because I know so many people from over the years. I'd like to get a couple of Detroit heads because, uh, you know, it can't always be about us all the time, even though we're the best. Yeah, we got to mix it up. We got to mix it up a little bit. And we also right. talked about we're going to start digging up some of those classic Rap Bones pictures and breaking them down a little bit, you know? Absolutely. All right, man. Take care. Right. and Take care, Stella and Luke. I'll talk to you soon. Take Bye, care, Drew. everybody. We'll see you Wednesday. Bye, Stella. Woo! Well, another one in the books. Uh, that was fun. That was a fun uh, A7 Sunday matinee shout-out show. Tune in next week uh, for the next A7 show. That's going to be with Stigma. I'll be back on Wednesday with Downset. And I want to uh, really thank every all the patrons that got on board, man. It, it means the world to me. Uh, take care of yourself. Uh, we'll probably bring my dad back at some point, some words of wisdom from Arnie Stone. And uh, thank you. Uh, be good to yourself.